vote and welcome back to Corn Farm. Here we are in March and it is still snowing like absolute hell. Like outside the map, all covered in snow, but here not so much. But anyways, we've got some plowing to do in that because obviously this section over here has been planted by previous farmer or whatever. Got maybe halfway from up, just started it before we bought the farm out, well bought, not bought the farm out, bought the land out, and yeah, just left it. So yeah, no idea why I didn't complete it or anything, but you know what, I'm not complaining, so I'm just going to do a quick plow here, because I always need to get rid of these, and I either cultivate it or that, I am going to bring the stone picker over. Actually, do we even have a stone picker? I don't think so. No, we do not. So, actually, you know what we do? Uh, where is it? Two stone pickers. Uh, let's try. Let's try this one. And you know what? We'll just leave it like that. So, hopefully, it should work because apparently it's had a update. So. There we go, and I have removed like the noise from store that icons and that, but I may put it back on because it's weird, like just it being all quiet and that. So configurations, uh, just black, black, and we'll go with red. I think. There we go. Go for red. There we go. Um, we'll demo this first of all, because I want to make sure it actually works. And I've driven into the water. For once, it wasn't a worker that's done that, it was actually us, so... Can't blame the workers. But yeah, I've got the little John Deere here, and... Technically, it's underpowered, but... It's managing its bit fine so far, so... Touch wood should be all golden. So yeah, I was going to do this section here, and I'm hoping if I set the worker off on this side, it should just come back and forth and that. So, let's get the PD out a sec. One map out on the bottom left. So we'll see our GPS coordinates, because we want to be at 270 degrees, give or take. So, there we go, I'm going to hire the worker now. And hopefully that shouldn't have any issues. Now, back on to what we started in the last episode of what was the Christmas special. Like, yeah, it was a bit of a ranty episode, I will admit to that. Obviously, I'm batch recording at the moment, so I don't know if it's gone well with people or not. This may be the last bit. This will be second to last episode or we'll batch record before the Christmas periods. But yeah, and also like what's editing it, I like realised I lost an entire section of it. Like the first like five, ten minutes of it, like the first time lapse of what I had planned. Obviously we we're doing batch recordings and that and then having to break and that getting some rest and that then editing it to following evening, like it was like uh, what what did I miss? What did I actually say? Because I was we may do like batch recordings. I have errors in that with save files, whatever, <laughs> or with PlayStation itself, it is so the recording saved. Having issues with that, like ugh. so, it sometimes happened. It's happened before with me, but in fairness, it hasn't happened in a while, so can't complain too much. So yeah, we've got snow until April, like, that is lovely. But yeah, so, I think we just got to do in this episode is just ploughing and seeding what we can. Because we're in March at the moment. Actually, you know what, I'm going to turn that menu sound back on, so is it under general settings? It just sounds weird. Was it 
ten percent. I think it was on ten percent. I had it. I'll find out whilst I'm editing this. So, uh, yeah, everything looks good in that. So, yeah. So, plan is, yeah, actually, yeah, with what we're gonna see. So, I will be doing red beets, carrots, and parsnips here. And the plan for those is going to be carrots in 88, red beet in 90, and then I was going to do parsnip there, but do instead. Ah, that's been seeded. Dang it. What other land can we have? 20 are meant to be seeding at the moment. Four perhaps? I think there's not much land at the moment that is free, so... So actually, what is a crop in these two? Because I may just buy this field. That is barley, right? So we've got barley there. And did we also plant barley? Yeah, barley here, so... You know what? Screw it. We'll buy another field. So the plan is carrots, red beet, and parsnip. Actually, we could do parsnip in these two fields here. Like, we don't need a wheat now. If we want a wheat field, then we can just, I don't know, buy five or f night three. Actually, what the heck, let's go buy that, so... And actually, I want to make sure they actually have got crop in the ground. 93, yep, yeah, so that's good. So we've got huge fields now, like... Look at the PDA. We own a good chunk of the map, a good third of it. And that's the thing, like, we're growing, the business is booming in that. We've had some good opportunities in that, so... It only makes sense to utilise it. Use our money, reinvest it in the farm, because, as I said before, this series ain't gonna end anytime soon, like... Because, as mentioned before, Zilonka, I will be doing the Let's Play series. And I will be using the additional crops, and we missed a bit there, I think. Because I've looked on the mod hub, and I like doing some research now, like what mods I can use. Because the plan for us, the long cut, is going to be a vintage survival, vintage farming series. And it's going to be based in around. Ideally, I would have liked it to be in the 70s, but at three of them is my option, so I'm going with a. Late 70s, early 80s vibe. And then from there, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the series. All the plan is have a multiple series, like a multiple map series, like you see with other YouTubers, like the squad and that. How they do their content, like been watching their content. And yeah, it's lovely how they do it. And they transition from map to map. Like Mr. P, he did, uh, was it, a recent Court Farm episode where he went to visit Diddy Squat Farm. Oh no, here comes the snow. Here comes the snow. No. Ah, rats. This is going to make life so much harder now. Actually, I'll speed things up, but nope. Let that settle in a sec. So yeah, just I thought that minute, let the map settle in and that, and grab a thumbnail for the episode. Like, we had one already sorted, but I definitely got one now, and yeah. I knew so was going to come in so at some point, but didn't expect it to be now, but here we are. Uh, good thing this had wheat in it, so I can tell where I haven't been. Because otherwise that would have really screwed things up for me. Like, seriously, this is... I just can't believe it, like... Seeded in the snow. 
never done that before, so this would be interesting. So yeah, plowing this done. So yeah, let's get this field seeded. And I think a good way to get it done is typical a little short time lapse. So yeah, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. go we are done with sugar beet planting and overall it wasn't too bad I would say it's only a few moments where I got a bit a little bit skew with you there but yeah overall managed just about fine like but man this thing drinks to feel like I've only been using it for what half an hour 0.5 hours and yeah it's just consume that fuel uh, if we put traffic back on, because I want to look at... Ah, uh, well, in fairness, it has got a small fuel tank, so... That's the only downside to this. It is a small tractor in that, but it's got a absolute beautiful of an engine. Like, something like this, usually you'll see no more than, what, 150 horsepower at the very most? But yeah, so it's like based on like a small tractor chassis, but it's just got a super tuned engine. And this could go up to 400 horsepower, so yeah, hard to believe it. 400 horsepower. So yeah, we're going up here. I don't know why. Can we get out this way? Because I don't want to go through that gate again. Because well, if you've seen the last episode. Parker's special. Yeah, that was a bit of a pain to deal with. Oh, break. Yeah, breaking on when it's actually snowing now, like... Funny enough, it's a bit difficult. But if I put the brakes on now... Don't get it wrong, it's good brakes, but oh, don't say that's the only way out there. Surely there's got to be another way, please? Ah, there we go. Gate that looks like it's just big enough for us. It's big enough for us, it's just the angle. So, yeah, we'll put this away. Do we need to do more planting? Things like corn and that we're going to be doing in April. And I did say I was going to do barley and that, but that's already been sorted, so oats we're fine with. Not doing cotton. Not doing grapes or olives at the moment. May do it in the future. Uh, unless we do. F yeah, I'm not going to do field beans now. I've already said that. Not doing field beans, so. Fair enough, all we need to do now in March is get the stones picked from 88. I'll do this now, please. After I just was like, very confident on us getting out of there. But yeah, we need to get 88 raw picked. And then do some of these contracts. Like, is there any more contracts popping up? Apart from these three that we've already accepted, because I'm guessing I've already been done. Or well, the farmers don't want people, their fields to be seeded in the snow, which makes sense. Usually wouldn't do that, but 
Oh, this is me we're talking about here, so... But anyway, so let's go and put this somewhere, I think. From the time being, we'll leave this by the green mill. By the field there. Do we use this, or do we use the Massey? Fair enough, I am inclined to use... Oh, okay, that is my bad. Does not have to have no beacons on or anything. Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. So, spark it up here for now. But the thing is, we've got so much snow here, we need to look after the country park now, because we've got... I doubt we'll have people camping at this time of year now, in the weather, but... We would need to do a bit of snow cleaning, so... Let's get a snow blower or something, so... Couple of options. Get the flatbed for the service truck. Oh, wait a minute. We've got this. Apparently, we can fit a salt spread on the back of it. I did not know that. But yeah, snow blower or plow. I think what we can do is actually. Snow blow this. Blow it into a tree or something. And then we can either get it processed, get it melted back into water, and then we can have to water ourselves, or just in general. Well, we'll purchase that. So yeah, that's 65 grand. And what's our trade situation like? Is that a tether? Ooh. That's one thing we do want is a tether. That is 17 meters, so... Sorry we have getting sidetracked. Um, tethers, because I bought the DLC, this one here. 27 grand, 13 meters. Usually that is 42 grand, but... Slightly used, but you know what? Let's purchase that now. Whilst we've got the advantage. And snow's melted. So all that time me fizzing around, snow's like come and gone. Alright, snow, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, of course can't really see the temperature at the moment because it's going till tomorrow's weather. So uh, I guess we're in the positive figures now. Yeah, three degrees Celsius we are at the moment, so Fair enough. Well, at least we've got it. Then. We've got we've got it in hand. So yeah, I'm not gonna go with the case there. But you know what? We'll use this anyways for the rock picking because fair enough. It one is red. Red and red goes together very well. But yeah. Also, it's don't let it drain the fuel now because. That's got a very small fuel tank. Wish whoever, uh, I'll say that, wish whoever designed that put a bloody bigger fuel tank in, because like most of these, like, we have a look. Pull over a sec. So look at our large tractors, this has only got a 90 litre fuel tank. Whilst our other big tractor's got 630, 800, even our smallest one, the John Deere, that's 125 litres. And the 6250R, that is 470 litres. Could have whacked on a few hundred litre extra capacity fuel tank things. Right? Right? Alright, I guess not right then. I'll take that as the universal sign of not right. Fair enough, it is what it is at the end of the day, so. But yeah, let's go and grab the rock picker. I will take it over to field 88, is it? Yep, field 88. And there we go, with the rock picker here. And I have noticed something, so if we go to here, remove all the sea of red for another kind of red. I get it with 45 because that was a root crop field, but also 110, those two fields need to plow in, so. Yeah, they got new crops in there, right? 
just to be safe. Yeah, no crops in there, so before we do anything, like seriously, we need to actually plow them and get them rock picked as well, so let's see if we could do it in this episode or what, so back it up. And hopefully this time this works, because I know when we in the first year of this model coming out, it has some issues and needed a bit of a little tweak and update for the second generation model, so what screw it, let's go through the hedgerow. And oh dear, I wish you we could remove those hedgerows, but yeah I know Oxy would cause you to plan on doing that because it requires Pretty much a fundamental change in the entire map. And as I've learned with Bice Ring 22, uh, I'll just keep to what you got. Uh, no fundamental changes, please. So, anyways, let's start here. Alright, we are picking up rocks. I was actually using the full width for that. There's no sticky rollers or anything. So that's a plus side. And yeah, we should get lots of rocks from these, because these are the big rocks, remember, so... Technically, after I also need to roll the fields, but... Again, I may risk it with the seeding and that. Of not rolling before plant or before seeding. Because it's got a cultivated state now. Right, actually, what is it classified as? Is it cultivated? Seabed? Yeah, cultivated, so. Obviously, it was previously cultivated anyway, so. Yeah, so far, so good. And now, let's quickly get the plow set up on these fields down here, shall we? Actually, what now? Nah, we'll do it. Later on the episode or in the next episode we'll get those sorted. Yeah, because at the moment I just want we got time at the moment, like we're skipping that times five speed. In fairness, like, that's how we should be having this at, at least times five speed. Alright, we need to move that John here a sec, so let's go and move you so Screw it. If the worker can start doing it, fine. I'm not going to complain. There we go. Alright, so trying to transport the worker here and saying not in transport mode. There is no transport mode with the plow. Unless you meant that, but how's that going to work? Field work. Go to there. It's falling up. Fair enough. Good. And yeah, I'm just saying not in transport mode. Like, WTF? What the fuck? Like that. Is it because of that or something? I'm sure, it's got to be something stupid, like. Alright, fine. Let's say go to here. Is that gonna work? Nope. How about to a road? Nope. Oh, you know what? I'll give up that. That, that, I said, we'll just deal with it in the next episode. It's like, if you have the worker able to do it, you know what? Fine. But, nope. Worker decides to be a pain in the ass today. Anyways, I hope you folks are having a good Christmas, hope you're all doing well, enjoying some nice food, turkey, ham, whatever you have. Whether you have your turkey done the traditional way, or have it like... Well, what's the reason why I saw it being done? I think I saw it a couple of years ago being done online. Ah, Spatch... Oh, was it Spatch Cop or something? I saw it on an episode of Food Theory by Matt Patton Yeah, I was like, saw that coming up, I was like, I don't know, spatchcock, spatchcock, I hate turkey. 
God, I hope he usually doesn't censor me on that. Dispatch call. Hey, there we go, guy. Now, for me this year, we'll be having. Well, I think the current plan is. There's ham, pork, ham, lamb, pork, and. No, sorry, it's ham, chicken, and pork or lamb. Same thing, right? No, no, lamb for sheep. Pork, no, uh, I don't know. I'm not too big on my meats. Yeah. I'll eat meats now. I'm a meat eater. I used to be vegetarian for about... I think how long was I vegetarian for? Like, the best part of 10, 11 years, almost. For a variety of reasons, that personal choice and that. Grown up, uh, what was it? I used to watch so many like, documentaries and that. And so much, like, not so much like Animal Planet by, uh, was it Dave Andrew? No, what was it? One of the things I loved to watch when I was growing up was um, Well Wars by Sea Shepherd. Like, basically, environmental activists going down the Antarctica, stopping the Japanese from whaling illegally, and that. Like, the whole premise is behind it is like scientific research Japan's using, which is a total load of bollocks, in my opinion, on that part. But uh, that's the legal system for you with a lot of things nowadays. Like. There's always loopholes around, and if you leave a loophole available, there will always be someone out there who would utilize that to the max. So, anyways, we've done a headland. And, yeah, we'll see, we're just getting along by here. Currently 5,000 a year, so. We can make more light from this, and then sell the light. Even though we bought a ton of light from when we did the. Uh, what's it though? Just taking a hand to sign for laser production, so. But yeah, so I think anyway, so we'll put this in the production, get light, and then sell it. But anyway, so we're starting to lose the light here, so hopefully we can get this done before nightfall. I think the game we've done is just need to focus down, put some tunes on, do a little time out, getting this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done.
here we go. We are done with the ploughing. I did plough this field here because this has got grass in it. I completely forgot this was one of our grass fields. So if we turn on the ploughing again, let the map update. And yeah, you'll see. Yeah, so we're going to get as much grass from this compared to the other fields. But once we've gone and mowed that, we will get our sorted. So yeah, overall, how much stone did we get? So, not too bad. Ooh, it does that. Oh, right, it's just temporarily unfolding, partially. We yeah, 27,814 litres. And, where it is? I'm guessing the point's here. Nope, it's here, so... We will sell these. Yeah, that's what we'll do with sell them. Uh, will this process within the first hour? Uh, no, actually, so... Nope, didn't mean to do that. Set distribute. We'll sell everything at once. Just gonna let that just cycle through. Almost there, three o'clock. And there we go, we are out, so let's go and sell that in the four grand. That's because I forgot this part of the episode to initially record when I did everything else earlier on today. This is the 23rd, I'm recording this part of the episode on. So, yeah, now we're at 939 grand, so. Not too bad, sun setting, I'm just going to stay at this for a bit. And yeah, also being a little bit busy, what I've been doing is just getting the strawberries, because we're always having lots of strawberries to sell, along with some bread and cake. So if we go to our prices, I know it ain't going to be a good time to sell any of these, well, not so much strawberries, because they're quite alright. Well, as you say now, it's actually quite good prices for bread, well... For cake, bread, not too much. So I think based on that, we will go for where be the best place to sell it all. Four eight thirty for the bread, cakes, garden center. Oh, ten thousand six hundred. That is just shy of the peak price. So at Tree Stores Bay One. So yeah, let's go and sell those quickly. And here we go. So the bay one, I think that's here, right? Let's test go and test that sec. So let's go and tag the place. Yep. There we go. So let's go and sell everything. So strawberries, we'll sell those first of all. And we may break a million. I doubt we will. Ten grand for that. Now the bread. Oh, now do we think just, just it's going to be very close to this? Oh, we just broke by a million by six to seven quid. Two pounds shorter or would have been a very nice amount to break the million pound mark by. So yeah, overall. Not too bad. And now let's go and waste all that money away. So, well, not waste the money, spend it a little bit prematurely because we can't plant any parsnips or repi or carrots yet. However, one thing I want to do is actually go and purchase some of the equipment we need. So, let's go down to the source sec and make some purchases and see. If I can get this to work, because there's a way to do things like the ridging and the planting at the same time, so let's see if I can figure that out. And there we go, at the shop here, and yeah, we've got everything also here, we've got the, uh, what was it, the, that's the tether, right? And actually, since we're here, we could go and purchase some of our moan stuff as well. One thing we don't need 
is this. So we'll go and sell this. Oops. So yeah, we'll go and quickly sell this. So go repair the masses since we're down here. Get a little bit of money back. So yeah, we're back at 941 grand, but that's going to be gone in the coming months, so don't worry about that. So, yeah, we've got the Grimmy GF800. This is the Ridge Maker. And all this really does is create a nice little texture on the ground, the ridges, but also gives a, was it, yeah, half a yield bonus, I think. And to pair of that, we've got the Covertant Mean Martin. Mini, not mini mark, mini air nova fold. So I think I haven't seen it work. But I think how it goes is we get the ridge marker hooked up first of all. There we go. And I'm not sure if we have to unfold this or anything. So, but yeah, if we go and back this up. So something like this. Or am I just getting it completely mistaken? I may have gotten it mistaken. I should have a look at that because I swear. Unless it's with the small one, maybe. But even then. Ah, that's it. Ah, right. It's only if you go with the smaller. 3 meter setup, which we're going to be doing because that's going to take us forever to do. Fair enough. But no worries, it's not an issue for us regardless, anyways. Still going to be quicker doing it separately compared to doing both at the same time with the 3 meter one. But yeah, so as I was saying, we can go and purchase our new mower. So we'll go with the Chrome Big M450. That just about gets into most fields we can do contracts on. And next we'll need the wind rower, so that would be down here. And I'll go with actually is there any bigger ones? Twenty meters, eight point four, four point six, fifteen for the class one, oxbow is twelve meters, so nope. There we go. The only thing with this, as we've seen, when we use this cell, like the mower and the bather, we're going to need the fent. That's a little gap. I was like, oh, what was I thinking? Yeah, the fent, so. But actually, are we going to replace our bather as well? Because. What was on about thinking about replacing our bather? Ah, uh, I think it's because it's. Acceptable bell capacity one, so maybe because it was the size additive tank, but pretty sure it has got a size additive tank, right? Yeah, I swear it's got one. Because, yeah, I was using the. Uh, what was it? One of the. Yeah, these ones here. Uh, maybe because it was a bigger whip than that. But seeing that, is it like an actual bigger width? So, go to here, look at that. Pretty big width. And then go to. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, that's got a bigger working width. Do we sell that? Do we sell that? in exchange for one of these. 230 horsepower at 15 miles an hour, even though that doesn't make a difference. 245, so actually it's slightly easier for us, so let's go and get this sorted a sec. So right, got both the mower and the bell wrapper here. I'll explain why we're sending this in a sec. So let's go and quickly repair and repaint both of these. 
There we go. So yeah, back up to 395 grand. So why did we have to sell? Well, Tim didn't have to, but why did I choose to sell the belt wrapper? Well, let's have a look here. So if we go over here to the beater. Ah, uh, yeah. Super wide, yeah, that means it was far wider. That means, first of all, with that, it gives us a better pickup. That's why I went with that. But as a feature of it, it has the options for a rear attachment. So it could be a pin hook, ball pitch, or in this case, a three point attacher. You see where I'm going with this? This, we'll be able to hook on with this so we can bell and wrap. And if we use the uh, fence, we can pretty much bell, well, wind rope bell and wrap at the same time. And if he was autoloading all this, we could have autoloaded it. Which, technically, yes, we are, but so we'll still stick with the lorry in that, so. Actually, that may cause some issues because the wind rover, 350 horsepower. That's fine. Bader, 230. That's 580 horsepower. Apparently this says no horsepower, but let's say 600 horsepower we need. Yeah, the as before we have, we have the problems with it all. We'll go to our large tractors. Only ones that can wind row and bell is like these ones here, but these don't have a front three point attacher. Actually, there is nothing saying we can't go with something like this. The case. Again, we got a case, um, what's it? Beta and that. And yeah, I'm not going to go with any of those because we're not using liquid fertilizer, but hear me out. So we want about 600 horsepower, give or take. There are 723 different configurations. I don't know exactly what you do. So yeah, pretty much it's we're looking at 360 grand. Fair enough. Then we want to go with white wheels in weight. How much is that gonna cost us? I do want twin wheels and weights. There we go. So yeah, wide tires and weight. We want E warning signs and that. Gotta have some kind of eddy strobes. Maybe a little tint, let's say. And yeah, we'll need the three point linkage. Front loader attacher, I am not honestly I'm not bothered by that. Can we get Yes, we can. We can get the case green free for that. Seat color, keep that black. Interior, ooh. Green. Don't need that. So, yeah, overall we're looking at about 367 grand. Do we? Spend the remainder of money on this. On the case IH Magnum 340 400 Series Special Edition FL. Or do we get more than? Because we get another field or two of this money. Yeah, I've got contracts in that. I've got these. They'll net us, what? 13 grand? We should have the mower contracts, the grass contracts come up very soon. Again, that's why I went with this setup here in the first place. Speed up the contract work because we're a contractor still. That's our for, for, uh, foremost thing is we are a contracting business. We're a farmer as well, but we our roots is etched in contracting. That's how we started this. So actually, wait a minute, where is the wind rower? Ah, right, wind rowers from the back. I've got enough room, so. That's the thing. Where do we go from here? Down the road and that. That's the question, pretty much. So, 
I'm going to have a think about this, but if any of you are watching with a comment on this, then feel free, give me some ideas on that. My thinking for the time being is, let, let's just remain to go, let's the status quo remain as it is. When it comes to our next cut of grass, which will be with our fields next, I should leave this down here pretty much, we'll start cutting this in the next episode. And yeah, go from there. And just see. Won't need a wrapper on this because this is going to be hey, this is. But yeah, feel free to comment on that. Where should we go? But yeah, plan is use the for the time being. See how we cope with it all. If we get any power issues, then yes, we will. But for the time being, I think I'll stick to what we've got and maybe purchase another field or two. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that like button. Feel free to come down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not sure how to join it, then please consider. But, for just do, hope you have a nice day, and have a Merry Christmas, and having a Happy Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.